All right, I'm in the middle of this game. Um, because I had a problem getting it set up at the start. Uh, but mainly there's fairgrounds. It's definitely going to be a big engine game. Um, he took a loan and I took uh, silver. And the reason why is I want to get up to my fives fast. He's complaining about a shuff shuffle luck incidentally. Perhaps not so incidentally. Um, okay. Um, but the big reason is uh, I, I want to get my draw up big. And yeah, well, the thing is, he's just asked me I see, if I see copper as a stable fuel. Not so much that I need a bunch of stables fuel, is that if he has no treasure in his deck, and I don't want much treasure in my deck, uh, so it's not like I'm going to buy treasure, um, then stables is going to be iffy. Okay, I want to do it this way so that I maximize this stuff. And pretty soon here I should be able to be getting pretty nice engine going. Uh, the inns will be my primary villages, stables as primary draw, a little bit of nice auxiliary stuff from the farming village, and inn will also help uh, stabilize me for making sure I have enough treasure in my deck for the stables to hit. Um, now, I need buys, which is a little bit vexing. Um, okay, we'll do this here. And, ooh, I got a triple bridge. That's very nice. Okay, now. Two. Uh, another bridge, I think. Peddler and in. And he's saying he thinks silver just clogs the deck. Well, it, well, whereas loan thins it. Well, sort of, yeah. But how are you going to draw cards? There's no way of drawing cards other than staples. So staples is like a double lab, and that it gets rid of, but it also gets rid of treasures. He's never going to be able to get over a five-card hand very reliably. His stables are going to have a hard time hitting eventually. Now the question is whether he's going to need uh, it's rare that I need the buying power. I don't want the buying power except at the very beginning which where it helped me get to five and actually I, I am using the buying power. I'm using all my buying power all the time now. Okay. Um, but boom here and we're going to get a peddler and an inn. And just bring everything back. And, well, it's probably going to be a bridge semi-mega turn. Uh, fairgrounds are going to be big. I'm going to want to get a gold at some point. Um, trader I, is going to be... Trader and Curse are probably going to be the two cards that I don't get. Although I might get Curse. I might be, might be Trader and Loan. He gets a triple bridge. But... I think his problem is he's not going to be able to sustainedly do this kind of stuff or get a big enough turn. Um, he has three bridges. I think I have four. And his stables aren't going to be reliable enough. So the peddlers are going to run out. And the bridges might run out. He gets another bridge here, another bridge here, and in. Seems like a weird time for that. Shouldn't he have gotten a peddler first? Oh, he's getting two ends. I see. Peddler in. Staples and in. No, stables and. Staples, I guess. Farming village in. Stables and in. Peddler and 
Except three bridges. Y phase. Um, I'll go ahead and take the last bridge. A peddler, another stables, the penultimate in. And I have to be a little bit worried that he can end the game and win, but I don't think he can. Um, and I gotta be real careful as to what I give myself here. All the peddlers are fine. Two, three ends, and two stables. Eh. Probably only want two ends. And hope to draw up the rest. Okay. Plays two wins. See, his problem is going to be he can almost never draw enough. Now, this is only four buys. He can probably end it in a tie. Well, he can maybe end it in a tie. Um. Oh, he's he would win. Shoot, if he has the money, because he has the great halls. What am I thinking? But he can't, because he doesn't have any other money. He's getting dangerously high number of great halls, I think. Uh, if I can go very close to Mega at all, I'm going to win here. If not, uh, if I can at least get some points, I should be in good shape. That is a lot of great hauls he just got. Okay, five bridges um, will give me six buys, which should definitely be more than enough. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the Great Halls, the Inns. Three provinces. And, yeah. Uh... So if we'll see the beginning here, because we missed this, uh, it was a veto mode game. I got rid of Vault because I figured that, well, actually that probably made it strategically very interesting. It gave you more draw and draw for the lone player. He got rid of Young Witch. Well, I could curse him with it. Although Traitor's a potential defense. That was also an interesting card. Uh, I open Silver Bridge. He opens Lone Bridge and gets a great haul almost immediately on turn three, and then hits a staples. Um, yeah, I'm not 100%. He's getting fours, and I guess that's what he's complaining about, but the thing is, silver is really, it's thing is that it helps you get to five. It doesn't help you get to eight that great, although it's not that bad for it, but it really helps you get to five. Anyway, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.